Hawaii's healthcare system is unhealthy and in trouble. In this video, we'll show you exactly why and how simply the state's healthcare elements can be treated and fixed. Right now, my care is completely on hold. We don't know what I have to do because I don't have a picture of my brain yet. You know, like, I don't have much time. There's a severe shortage of medical care on the islands, especially on the neighbor islands. We have no endocrinologist. We have no outpatient neurologist. We have no oncologist. We don't have a psychiatrist on our island. We have no geriatrics. We have no palliative care medicine. Our ophthalmologists won't see Quest patients. Private practices are struggling all over the state and some are closing. Currently, there have been nine home care organizations in the state of Hawaii, and this will reduce the number to eight. Even traveling nurses from the mainland say Hawaii's health care situation is sad. I have so many patients die due to lack of resources, not able to get dialysis, not able to see a cardiologist, not able to get the consults that they needed immediately. Um, things that we have, you know, at, a, at the palm of our hands on the mainland, they don't have at all. So why is this happening? Well, there are a few reasons that are fixable. Basically, it has to do with heavy government regulations and taxes. Hawaii taxes medical services. Unlike most other states, Hawaii has strict occupational licensing requirements, which makes it difficult to bring in help from the mainland. And Hawaii has the most burdensome certificate of need laws, which limits the supply of healthcare. Let's take a specific look at each Hawaii healthcare hurdle. First, did you know that your medical bills are taxed at nearly 5%? Yep. Remember, all services in Hawaii have a general excise tax, and that includes medical services. And since medical bills aren't cheap, that 5% can add a lot more to your bill and create higher business expenses for private practice medical professionals. It would amount to an extra $500 tacked onto a $10,000 medical bill. Now, most mainland states don't tax private healthcare practices. So Hawaii is already at a big disadvantage. It's the reason many private practices are in danger of closing. Hawaii is the only state in America that taxes Medicare, Medicaid, and TRICARE. Now second, did you know Hawaii is also one of the few states with several strict occupational licensing requirements? Hawaii state law says doctors, nurses, and other healthcare workers who hold a license from another state can't practice in Hawaii. They need to get a state license first. And that makes it harder for doctors and nurses to move to Hawaii to set up practice. But why? If they already have a valid license in another state and they weren't involved in malpractice or something, why does Hawaii have to make them get a new license? Now, most other states allow out-of-state licensed doctors and nurses to practice. But the problem in Hawaii is that there have been some hang-ups from Hawaii licensing boards about joining interstate agreements that allow out-of-state workers. These laws also prevent hospitals from being built. Now, fewer hospitals means fewer workers and services. A Maui organization put together a plan to build a much-needed privately funded medical center, but the state declined the certificate of need application. Major healthcare industry and providers have stayed away from the state of Hawaii because they just don't want to go through a process that they've seen and demonstrated where no matter what you've got, if you've got $300 million, you got 100 physicians, you got a land, you got everything, everything makes sense to have the very best possible medical care you could possibly provide the community at no taxpayer dollars expense, zero taxpayer dollar expense, you will be denied. That shockwave throughout the whole world in healthcare put Hawaii off the map for consideration. Why do we want to restrict people from coming in to give healthcare services when we don't do the same thing to any other business? Our priorities have got to go to how important are our lives and health and safety. That's got to be number one, just like it's supposed to be. Now here's the good news. Our medical services can be easily increased and become more affordable with these simple ideas. Tell your lawmakers to get rid of the excise tax for medical services. Legislators are already pushing to exempt the GET on medical care and relaxed licensing requirements to make it easier for health workers to come from the mainland to come and help in Hawaii. And we wrote a report on how to do that and you can find the link in the description. And for the Hawaii Certificate of Need Laws solution, make it easier for people to build hospitals by loosening these laws. So is there a doctor in the house? 
But once these problems are fixed, there will be plenty of doctors in the house. Now, for more information on how you can be part of the solution to lower your expenses and get the health care you deserve, go to www.grassrootinstitute.org. And by the way, if you have a story to tell us about how difficult it is to access health care in Hawaii, please leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching and to find out when we'll make another video, be sure to subscribe.